Hello YouTube, what's up? Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another PWE unboxing video. And on Instagram, some dudes asked me, hey dude, what's up? What happened to your arena? You now show the backstage area all the time. Do you still build your arena? And of course we do. Here is our Smackdown live stage and the audience for our arena is growing every day and you see in the middle the hulkster is ripping his shirt off referee danny davis is waiting in the back and of course commentator action going on here the tables are filled with commentators and yeah if we go over here more figures then we have of course gorilla position and sitting at the table here paul Heyman and vince mcmahon waiting for the next fighters to arrive at gorilla position and then of course we have our backstage set there. Vince McMahon sitting in the GM's office with his enforcer Triple H in the back, Terminator Triple H. We have the interview set here and our newest edition, uh, Ravishing Rick Root DX style in a suit, is giving an interview to Rene Young. And on the other side, we have our very own talent, Hans, talking to Mean Gene Oakland. So yes, of course, a lot of stuff going on today, even more. An unboxing video, Elite 76, Otis, and Elite 75, Mandy Rose. The newest episode of PWE starts right now. It's plastic time! <laughs> So welcome to another PWE unboxing video. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for supporting the channel. And without further ado, here are the two figures that today will join PWE in the fight for better figures and better wrestling. So first of all is Mandy Rose, WWE Mattel Elite Series 75, Mandy Rose. And we have her boyfriend, Elite Series 76, Otis, the Mr. Money in the Bank. And those two figures are actually pretty special for me because in both cases I thought that's a pass for me. I told you um, that we're not going to collect every single figure that is coming out just for the sake of it. Uh, it's not like I saw Elite Series 76 coming out thinking, okay, six more figures for PWE. No, we only collect figures that we are emotionally attached to. So what happened? Because uh, when I saw Mandy Rose first popping up in NXT and uh, WWE, I was like, okay, that's another blonde, nice body, beautiful looking, no talent woman that nobody needs to see except maybe Vince McMahon. But boy, oh boy, I was wrong. What a bitter old stupid hag I am because now we know that the quite entertaining feud or storyline, if you want, between Mandy Rose and her boyfriend Otis just came to pass because Mandy and Otis went to none other than Vince McMahon, knocked his office door and said, hey dude, we have a storyline that we would like to do. Um, these are the people involved. This is the storyline. This is what we're thinking of. What do you think? And Vince McMahon liked the idea and so all of this happened and um, as some of you know um, I helped to promote and I helped to book and I helped in creative um, of Alex Wright's NEW New European Championship Wrestling and as a booker and as a head of creative you love nothing more than wrestlers who have a clear vision of what a storyline is, how a storyline works, if a storyline is right for them and their abilities in acting and wrestling and who can present everything and basically make the whole creative team um, put them out of a job because everything is already done. So uh, whenever I uh, worked with wrestlers, I was like, okay, you, you have a storyline on your mind that you think you can do in the ring, outside of the ring and that you think fits for you and everybody involved. Okay, let me know. I'm listening. And... Um, I respect those people for those visions and for this kind of creativity that you need for that. And so, of course, after I heard that, I was like, oh, 
Mandy Rose, Otis, go for it. And when Otis especially became Mr. Money in the Bank, okay, maybe it was a little bit goofy and stupid, but overall uh, I enjoyed that because I enjoy his character and I learned to enjoy her. So without further ado, now we're opening the packages. Ladies first, let's open Mandy Rose package. And of course, as you know, still without a name, our <laughs> Black Mamba. <laughs> trusty knife that we open every box with and um, uh, I really have to say this whole thing with Mandy Rose opened my eyes because um, there's still a giant distrust in WWE as far as women go because for over 30 years they treated them as a yeah like a like a sidekick that was just there because they had boobs or whatever I don't know they they treated women really really bad so whenever there's a beautiful woman popping up nowadays in a ring of WWE, I think right away, oh my God, a step back into the Attitude Era. And uh, let's face it, Mandy Rose is beautiful. She is a blonde, blonde bombshell. And um, my first thought was, okay, uh, here we go again. But no, 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 that lady can wrestle. And as we know now, this lady is pretty creative. So. Here she is in her bubble, a little bit disappointing as a figure because she only comes with an extra set of hands and um, her entrance vest, but uh, let's get her out of the bubble and maybe we find something that we like. And yeah, it's a shame nobody of you stopped me because of course I forget, co forgot completely to talk about the box. Here we have a picture of Mandy Rose. If you like blonde women, then you possibly like this picture a lot. On the back side, thank you Canada, again, no text, no information at all, that's just Canada, Mattel Canada sucks, I don't know what's wrong with them. Um, the other figures in the line, of course, Seth, Seth blah, blah, I can't even talk, Seth Rollins, Jeff Hardy, Pete Dunne from uh, the UK, Callisto, and the Hurricane, and we know that the Hurricane was the chase figure with two variants, pretty awesome, pretty awesome. Uh, here, another Mandy Rose picture from the ring, a live picture, very, very, very beautiful woman. So now we can get rid of the packaging and let's take a look at the figure. And you know, I have a special place in my heart and in the collection for women wrestlers, for women figures. Uh, and this one is really, um, the newer figures are just, um, I like them a lot, just awesome, the detail. Here we have, of course, Rose on her golden boots. She comes with a nice knee pads that she has with her logo on it. Um, this is highly detailed and it is really nice and beautiful black and golden vest. But um, you know what I think about all those rubber accessories. I prefer uh, cloth, so soft goods. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but um, here's even a molded on belt. Uh, maybe they should have put there a little bit more detail and people could enjoy it more. The top is pretty detailed and beautiful as well. Uh, let's maybe for a second get the jacket off so we can take a look what's on the back of the figure. So we got the jacket off and there is this and maybe you can see here also nice little detail. It just, uh, you can can hardly see it because it's black on black on black. So um, maybe should have added a little bit more accent to that. Here's a stupid little paint I have to get rid of, have to clean it up. But um, the figure, if I have to judge, is like uh, nice, but could have been better. I mean, um, we get the jacket, which is nice. We get the extra hands, which is nice. Um, the figure is beautiful. I mean, look at the head scan. It's uh, pretty awesome. Uh, nice hair. Everything is great. It's just uh, something is missing. A little bit more detail. I, I don't even, I, I can't point my finger on it. Uh, it's like, I can't even tell you what I wish for this figure as an extra, but um, something is just missing. So nice figure, but uh, could have been more awesome. So let's get Mandy out of the way or put her in the background because now we have her boyfriend. Now we have Elite Series 76, 
Otis. And um, somehow, I don't, I don't know how this happened. Um, maybe because he went on to become uh, Mr. Money in the Bank. Or um, maybe because of this feud and, and Otis becoming the boyfriend of, of Mandy Rose. I have no idea. Maybe their activity on social media, which was pretty, pretty uh, awesome, pretty nice. Somehow Otis managed to become one of the most sought after figures of the last few months. I was really surprised when I noticed how everybody went crazy for Otis. Um, but let's see where this is going. Maybe we are talking about a huge superstar of the future. Don't know yet, can't judge yet. Again, thank you Mattel Canada for nothing. On the backside we see other figures in the line include John Cena, Braun Strowman, of course, Otis tag team partner Tucker, Lacey Evans and Christian. Christian was or is currently the chase figure. Um, one version has him with a white shirt. The other one is, as far as I know, is black. Uh, I can already say that from this series we will get definitely a Lacey Evans um, and maybe a Braun. Um, the other figures just don't do it for me. John Cena, I... I <laughs> I'm not exactly a fan of John Cena um, and this character here, um, I don't know, we will have an ultimate uh, John Cena in the near future, um, so let's go with that. Tucker will be, I think, a pretty much forgotten wrestler in the near future because Otis um, is all alone and Vince McMahon doesn't like tag team wrestling anyway. And the Christian, well, it's a Christian, I don't care so much. So here we have Otis on the side. Let me adjust the camera. Nice picture of the man. He's a little bit the, the blue collar guy like uh, Dusty Rhodes used to be back in the, in the 80s. Here a sweaty picture of the man. Let's get him out of the package. So what do you think? I mean, um, I'm, I didn't follow um, the tag team heavy machinery so much in, in NXT on uh, when they were uh, pulled up to the main roster um, So I can't say I, I feel for Tucker. You know what I mean? Um, I'm happy that we have Otis and I couldn't care less if he has a tag team partner or not at the moment That might sound a little bit heartless, but that's just how I feel. So Otis is pretty well <laughs> uh, Equipped so to speak <laughs> Comes with his uh, jeans jacket, comes with two extra sets of hands, and of course this, and I know some YouTubers didn't get that, uh, he comes with a YOLO County Tag Team Championship. Um, they were like, I don't know what is this paper belt all about. Well, watch the product that you're unboxing, then you might notice something. Uh, I don't know. That was pretty stupid from, from those guys. So, um, after we, we spoke about it, let's get everything out of the bubble. So, now we have Otis out of the bubble and his accessory, accessories. Let's go over everything. First of all, we have, of course, the YOLO County Tag Team Championship. As far as I'm concerned, that's pretty spot on as it was on TV. I like it. Then we have two closed fists, so Otis can beat anybody who comes too close to his lovely Schätzelein Mandy. Then we have two open hands. I spare you the details of what I'm thinking now. Then we have his jeans jacket, solid Otis blue color. And the logo of heavy machinery on the back. I, I like this used look, but once again, um, wouldn't it be nice to have something like that out of clothes material or soft goods? Um, I mean, it, it feels already, I don't know, maybe Mattel changed something um, in their rubber because over the last few weeks I noticed more and more of this uh, it's sli slightly more soft than, than the rubber we are used to. Um, I like it, but it's still, of course, uh, no soft goods. I always prefer soft goods. So maybe can't wait for an Otis with that as a cloth variant. So here is the figure. <laughs> and he is, of course, something special because there's hardly anybody with his mass. Um, as far as I'm concerned, it's a real nice head scan. Um, little color chipping here. and. A really really nice torso I like that 
Um, comes with double jointed knees, of course. A um, little bit on the stiff side, but uh, you can pose him. So uh, once he's not that new anymore, of course, that will get even better. I don't like this so much. You see, um, you can put him back. If you try to put him up front, bend him there, it's impossible. So for all you guys with a thick fat who try to pose these, these guys around in a ring, that will be a little bit difficult, I think. But maybe then um, he's only a guy for kicks and stuff like that. Anyway, so um, I like this figure. I like uh, the details that he comes with. Um, I think I will put his jean jacket on just to see how it looks. And then we uh, see ourselves again in the end to see how Mandy and her new boyfriend look together. So there you have it, YouTube. I don't know. Um, Otis is pretty fine. Elite Series, Elite Series 76. Otis in his jeans jacket, even if it is rubber. I don't know. I like the figure. I like the details. I like how uh, his double jointed knees and everything else uh, allows to pose the figures. I like the head scan. Um, I noticed a little, I don't know, the, the color of his beard is a little bit weird on the weird side, but uh, that's okay for me. I can live with that. Uh, the Mandy Rose is not that super super. I like her. And as I told you in the beginning, um, in my long tirade, I definitely respect that woman. Um, the figure itself could have been better and could have been more detailed. That's the final judgment. So overall, I have to say two nice figures. Otis, of course, a little bit the better figure of the both. That's it for today. See you in the next video. Please don't forget to like or dislike. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new and please ring the notification bell so you never ever 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 again miss another PWE video. So friends, that's it. See you in the next one. Goodbye.